let's explore Gopher Space. So all of our websites that we navigate these days, those are HTTP protocol. The markup of the web pages look like this. But for Gopher, this is just a really, really basic page because I am literally <laughs> just learning about Gopher. Um, I mean, I knew about Gopher, but I'm currently learning about making a page. <laughs> but let's go ahead and surf the Gopher web, the Gopher space. So when I just open up the Gopher program on Linux, I have uh, this screen and it just goes to gopherproject.org. So we can go into a given page. Let me kind of re-stretch this out a little more there. And there's a lot of places you can explore just that are linked in from here. So what, why is Gopher relevant? Well, I don't know how active the community is. I, again, have just been kind of searching around while um, on my droplet. So usually I'm just surfing the web from my uh, Linux droplet and that could be Lynx web pages or just looking at Gopher pages or Gemini protocol web pages. I guess they're gonna technically not called web pages. Uh, I haven't quite learned the syntax or the terminology yet. But basically you have documents and they can link to other things, but you don't have like the embedded images and such in the screen. The sensory overload of Web 2.0. So if you're surfing the web on just a very terminal uh, specific, command line specific browser, it works a lot better than if you try to open something up with links. So for instance, if we go to like, let's see, let's just try to go to the Wikipedia page for this. I'm not sure it'll if it'll load because a lot of stuff will um, not load without JavaScript. But we can try. So like this is what the page looks like. So we have our navigation bar, we have more navigation bar stuff, and then we have the actual contents. And it's just still a lot, even in a text only view. So with something like Gopher, it's meant to be a lot more like just visually less busy. Um, with something like Gemini, it has the colors and stuff somewhat, but follows a lot of the ideas of Gopher as well. So for instance, we can look at, let's go to sdf.org. You can, I guess, become a member here, but you can also look at the active users. I'm just using up and down to scroll between these links right here, and these just go to other Gopher space pages. We can see different things here. So that can we open that? Just a little little page. My cat is crying. Luna, what is it? What do you want? So there's just kind of pages and then they have other links to other areas guess you could probably guess that a lot of us are programmers that are <laughs> on the gopher web. Looks like different um, blog posts, you know, you can link to other areas. Some of these are pretty small. So I'm going to try to find some cool ones because I was searching through looking for stuff earlier, and I like some of the ASCII art on some pages. And then maybe I can also get my cat to stop crying. Oh yeah, what I had searched or was looking at earlier was the gopher lawn. So you can look at various categories. So C, of course. <laughs> the I guess this is, would be the Commodore computer, I think. Hey, look, there's Rachel's gopher hole, but that's a different Rachel. That's not how I spell my name. And then, 
additional information. Let's look at some old ASCII art. Oh, that's a C code. Big C? Oof. Hmm. Let's try graphical demos. I want to see what there is. This is searchable collection of ZX Spectrum demos. Oh, eh. Metaverse, servers, fun and games, ASCII town. Okay, that one just goes to an HTML browser, so it's going to take us to links. Try Consider using native gopher. HTML is insecure and bloated. Okay. Well, we're going to get out of here. Let's try something else. So we're not going to go to ASCII town. <laughs> For some reason, whenever it opens links, it seems like this gopher browser I'm using uh, crashes. But we can look at some other places, personal home pages. You can link to other file types, like audio. It's just that they don't get um, like embedded in the page. Holes with software projects. I guess like a, a web page, quote unquote, would be like a gopher hole. So, BMS operating system, vintage software, give me a random link. Okay. I guess you have to go into it. I don't know. <laughs> We're just looking around. Here's a page. I don't know if it was updated on August 31st, which would be pretty recent. But they have a slog which is basically a blog, anime stuff, anime ASCII art, so we could look at, I don't know, Ranma half art. You just got all of the ASCII you need. Just other information, very much, you know, a personal web page type of thing. We can kind of just go into each one, see what kind of ASCII art people put for their headers. So I'm just like on the flog directory on the SDF page. Syntax errors corner. Links to other places, contact information. Small stones. Here's a, a Tux ASCII art. I see that there is also another Rach's gopher hole. Also, not me. There we go. <laughs> we We have like a, a chair, a file cabinet, a chair, a flower. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of hard to... <laughs> But I guess we take a business card. There we go. Get some information. I hate your doom talks. <laughs> Petition to make a Hypnospace Outlaw style game, but you're going through flogs <laughs> in the gopher web. TUI, part one. I've also been surfing Mastodon via the toot command line tool so just a lot of t command line stuff also um multi-user dungeons so i mostly want to look at some cool ascii headers <laughs> but i haven't really read through any of these in any deeply again this is something that Mostly when I'm in class and students are working on their programming labs, there's not really anything for me to do, so I am on my droplet via putty and just exploring or playing Ardwolf. So it's just been interesting to kind of look through, or I was like, I don't know if I want to view these ASCII arts. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> I can't imagine instead of posting a GIF in a response, you just post uh, <laughs> that instead. So, I mean, 
something to do on a lazy day or maybe connect with other people and then we can all make little gopher pages and share have it like a little blog there are resources on the net you just search through it setting up the server wasn't too hard um with the droplet i already have though my droplet is kind of small so i do need to make sure i don't go over my amount of like what 10 gigs <laughs> snow crash look at that little hamster thing got some scripts in here linux rules foot it's the footer of the the page <laughs> so go over hole of steve and something on setting up gopher you could use MK Gopher. I haven't been using that. I just made a Gopher map page for mine. So, so with mine, I mean, I have my personal HTML web page. I thought maybe I could move a lot of that there because it's just a plain text page. And then I have links. I can go to my HTML page there, my uh, home page. You can make little sub pages. So I haven't really done anything here yet. That's just something I could work on. Um, well, having some extra time. Let's go to my HTML homepage. Or there. Also not necessarily super attractive. It is very text-based, but it does feel a little bit busy when compared to a, like a gopher page. So... Another protocol out there is Amphora, which looks very much um, based on Gopher, which I only also heard about today from somebody on Mastodon. Um, my background colors aren't the greatest. I'll maybe try to keep it like that. But basically, it takes us here to start with. It has a little bit more color going on. Oops. Uh, not in the web browser. I want to go to mm, all internal pages. No. I have to remember how to go back. It's a B. <laughs> the controls for this is the M4 browser. Um, I can type a number to go somewhere. Project Gemini. Oh, yeah. You can also go to these different pages. So let's see. Yes, the Bongusta aggregator for Gopher Space. Um, you can use up and down to scroll the pages and look at different things. I can hit space and type in one of these link numbers and we'll go there. So there's some various things as well. There's a list of users with content. I don't know. Oh, that file cannot be displayed. We can open it. Okay, you can't see it, but it it opened a picture of a cat. So you can link to other types of files. Go back. Three. This page has a cool <laughs> terminal header thing. And I've looked through here a little bit, as you can tell. So kind of the way these pages are laid out is very much plain text and then links to other areas. And navigating through the links is made it just easier. Let's look at that ASCII art dumping ground. Cool. <laughs> Which, you know, I like messing around with terminal art and stuff as well. Gym log would be like a blog, except on Gemini space. The unfortunate thing about the name Gemini for a protocol is now that Google has its Gemini AI makes it very hard to do any searches for this sort of thing. You can see kind of navigating through different ones up here. And then I can also hit space and type in a specific number. So various things. Keep scrolling down. Let's try number 49. Not a whole lot. What about, I'll go back. Number 48. Okay. Number, it did say something about a roguelike tutorial. <laughs> but. 
I don't know what that is. Welcome to the universe. Cool. <laughs> so, just some random stuff. The Gemini capsule of cra Cryoleth? Craft? No, Cryoleth? Uh, okay. <laughs> Here's another page. Looks like we have <laughs> a terminal rend rendering. I run it, design and code. Yeah, we probably pretty much mostly all code. <laughs> so, code or CAD? I don't know if that's a, if those are A's or not. Programming. <laughs> but for Project Gemini, there's a page as well. Uh, I have not watched the video overview, which takes me to YouTube, clearly, but has more information on that. Or you could look at the FAQ and read through here for more information. There's a lot. I have not read through all of it. I only read through the first top, <laughs> top bunch of it. Um, but Gopher seemed like it would be easier to make a little Gopher server with. Or to run a Gopher server. So. If you are interested in any of this, I would suggest checking out the web, the H, blah, 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 the Wikipedia pages for uh, more context with them. And then if you just like look up Gemini protocol or Gemini space, that should get you around the Google Gemini stuff. So Gemini space, let's see. Well, okay. Gemini maybe wasn't the best branding name. Gemini protocol. And you can see more information. There's a Reddit area as well. Gopher space. Maybe gopher space sounds a little bit more <laughs> unique. Uh, Gemini sounds very spacey, so a Gemini space could be anything but a gopher space. How many gopher spaces are there? <laughs> so there's more historical information as well. I just thought it would be pretty cool. And with the historical things, they have screenshots of how you might have surfed gopher web back in the day. But now, these days, I kind of prefer using the command line and just being in a terminal. So it's a lot of fun to just kind of navigate around, explore, maybe come up with ideas uh, based on, you know, just like weird little blogs you see around. And as far as changing my own personal web page to a gopher page, like I wouldn't replace one with the other, but just thinking about like, what kind of entertainment could I have on a little text only based page? Like I have some stuff here. I have screenshots of my old desktop computer <laughs> screenshots that I have seen before or I had saved on DeviantArt and stuff or, you know, old screenshots from programming and various links. So if you want to see that, that's just on rachel.likespizza.com. But just trying to think of like entertainment that I can make for the terminal, whether that is via like gopher web page, gopher space holes, not web pages, but gopher holes. And, uh, you know, writing stuff in the terminal, writing pure C++ programs, writing stuff with in curses, and just kind of brainstorming, figuring out interesting things to do from the terminal. Anyway, that's all I really have, but thanks for jumping in to the Gopher and Gemini space with me just to kind of look at things. Uh, if you have any suggestions, I would like to know kind of where are some cool places to go to or even cool programs, games, MUDs to use from the command line. <laughs>